morning everybody welcome to rise and shine you know sometimes most of the time in my entire life I, I think that I've been doing some of the wrong things and sometimes it, it causes a lot of problems if we stay in fear way too long or we stay in depression and keep going back in depression we are doing things that are hurt ourselves and somehow or another we can't really stop we just want to keep doing it and it's a repetitious cycle of torment and pain when you have um, constant problems with emotions in your life of fear of us uh, of sickness of of dis discontentment of being undervalued of uh, things that, that come against us where it's so strong we can't seem to move out of that place well in the Bible in John 8 53 Jesus finds someone like that and they were ready to kill her they, it was about a woman that was um, a harlot and she was found caught in the act of doing, in the act of doing, right there with another man. And they came up against her and they said, Jesus, you know, what are you gonna do with this woman? Because she's caught right in the act. And so Jesus said about writing on the sand and he did some undoing. That moment that he wrote on the sand, that moment that she met, him, met Jesus, changed her life. And he undo, undid, undoing, everything that she had done in her life. She was a changed woman from, then. from that time on. She was a changed woman. You see, that's what happens to us. We are a changed woman once we met Jesus. But if we're not there yet, if we haven't made all of the undoings, I want you to know, I want you to be encouraged because God is still working to undo things that we've been doing all my life. And I want you to lean into him. I want you to lean in and glean from what this this woman did. She listened and she said, thank you. And she rose up differently and she knew she was differently. I want you to get in the presence of God in prayer and ask him to do some more undoing in your life. Stuff that we've been doing all of our life, we have got to stop. And it's mostly coming with emotions that hold us back, hold our lives back, steal our joy, steal our peace. I want you to know God is in the business of undoing all the things that we do to ourselves and praise God that he is. Just lean into him and, and understand he is transforming you. It just takes some time and it's a process. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you, <clears throat> for healing for your body. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just call on the Most High God and I open up the heavenlies and I pray, Lord God, that all neck injuries and shoulder injuries have to be healed now in Jesus name. I declare that minds are free from fog and from um, disappointment and from depression and we have a fresh a new mind in Jesus' name. I thank you Lord God that lungs are open, throats are open, passages for breathing are open. I ask Lord God that all intestinal problems will have to stop now in Jesus' name because you were healing Lord God, you were healing the intestinal problems now. I thank you, Jesus, for arthritis in your hands and in your legs and in your back that has to leave that body. I command it to leave in Jesus' name, that it can no longer stay in your body in Jesus' name. Because the Lord God said, I am the Lord God who heals you, and I will take sickness from your midst. Thank you, Lord God, that you take sickness and disease from our midst in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching Rise and Shine. Remember, share me with somebody. I'm on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Look me up and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.